Alright, so for this video I would like to go over the another set of tools that you can find under the edit mesh menu. So I'm going to go over this set of tools which has deals more with the uh, with edge loops and adding more edge loops to your mesh. So I'm going to go over this uh, set of tools. First I'm going to create a polygon object. So go to create polygon primitives and I'm going to create a cube. I'm going to press 5 so I can see it. And now the first tool that we have is the project curve on mesh. So basically what it says is project a curve on the mesh. But to do that we had to create a curve. So how do we do that? I'm going to press spacebar first. And then for my front view, I'm going to press spacebar as well. Zoom in. And to create a curve, go to create. You can create either a CV curve tool or a an EP curve. I'm going to create a CV curve. So basically, as you can see the crosshair here, and just click a few points so you can create a curve. Press enter. Space bar so you can go back to our perspective view. I'm going to scale my curve. I'm going to press R to scale. Scale that up. Alright. I'm going to select my object first and then the curve. Hold down shift so you can select the curve. Now go to edit mesh and let's use that project curve on mesh. Alright. So what that does is as you can see there is a curve here and it's really around the mesh so that's basically what it, that it's going to do it's going to project a curve on the mesh and we can still move this curve and as you can see the projection moves as well so now I'm going to select the mesh control shift drag here so I can select that as well and we can go over the second tool which is the split mesh with projected curve so basically uh, we want to add an edge loop which is going to be that curve so there's going to be that edge loop it's going to go around our cube and at the same time it's going to cut the cube and it's going to make it a separate object so we're going to have two sides of this cube so let's go ahead and go to edit mesh split mesh with curve I'm going to click on the options box for that one and I'm going to set it to split and detach edges okay all right so now we can select our cube and even if we move it as you can see now there is an edge loop there that is based on the curve that we created which is right there okay all right so I said that these were going to be two objects now and these are separate uh, objects so if I move that face you can see there is a gap those edges are not connected that is the reason I set it to split and detach if you don't want it to be detached then do not set that option so if I want this to be two objects I know this is not necessarily something I needed to cover but I'm going to mesh and separate and now I have two objects this one and this side as you can see right there which I can work with so there's many uses to that and that, it will, that is up to you as to how you use those tools and that is the most basic application for using those two tools okay let me create a new object. I'm just going to create a new scene and create a cube again. Press 5 so I can see it. And let's go over the next tool, which is the cut faces tool. So let's click on it. And it says right here click, drag to cut. So basically, just click and drag an area. And as you can see, if you hold your mouse, hold it. Uh, left mouse click you can kind of rotate it so that you can set the place where you want the pretty much the edge loop or the cut to be at 
so let's say I want it right here as you can see now we have an edge loop there let's say I want another one there right there okay so basically using the uh, cut faces it's just to create the uh, edge loops uh, more interesting angles that you can when you're using the the next tool that we're going to go over so basically using the cut faces is to add an edge loop this way and more interactively set the orientation of that edge loop so now let's go over the next one which is the interactive split tool so let's click on it so that we can see what it does so you can see there's a vertex there when I go along the edge so if I click say right there now I must click on another edge so I can click create an edge so if I click right there and I can continue this uh, as long as I want so let's say I want it to end right here I can press enter and as you can see I added that edge loop or just edge I added those two edges by using the split polygon tool basically it allows you to click uh, a specific point on an edge and then on another specific point that you want of course and create an edge uh, that's a really useful tool I really like using that tool so I'm pretty sure you're going to find uh, really applicable ways of using the split polygon tool all right now we can go and use one of the most useful tools uh, for 3d programs which is the insert edge loop tool probably you're going to use this one a lot when you model so basically you're going to click on one edge and what it that's going to do is going to create an edge loop and if you hold down your mouse you can drag uh, to whatever position you want the edge loop to be so one there and the edge loop follows all the way around except for here uh, notice that edge loops only work uh, with quads so if you have an end gun which is basically a face with more than four vertex vertices or edges which in this case we have one two three four five six edges here so this is not a, a quad so edge loops are going to behave a lot better when you use quads than when you have uh, end guns or triangles but using the edge loop tool it's going to be one of the most the tools that you're going to use the most so as you can see you can insert as many edge loops as you want and when you're done just press enter or press Q to access the tool uh, pressing Q is just like going and clicking right here which is dropping the tool that you're currently using so let's go over the next tool which is the offset edge loop tool click on that so in order to use this one you have to click on an edge loop or edge like this one and if you hold down you can drag it creates two edge loops uh, side by side one on one side of the edge loop you select it, and one on the other side so you can do something like this get them really close like that so that's basically what the offset edge loop does and again it can be really useful depending on the model that you are working on the next tool and the final tool is the add divisions so if I click right now it's not going to do anything because I have an edge loop select add divisions does not do to my knowledge it doesn't do anything to uh, an edge loop so you must have selected either the object mode which is the whole object or the face if you select a face or a number of faces then you go to edit mesh and add divisions what it's going to do is going to add divisions 
which is what that tool does. It's basically going to add more edges there so you can have more geometry there that you can work with. Again, that's going to be a few practical uses for that tool. I find myself not using it too much really, but again, it can be useful just to know how to use it, just in case you ever need to use it. Alright, so that's basically how to use this toolset area under the edit mesh menu.